Hello everyone, today we will learn how to send an email when order is created in order forms. Now order form is a software which is used to take payments from customer for any product that is created over there. And Gmail is simply used for receiving or sending emails. And if you want that every time an order is created in order form, that person who has created the order or created a purchase should get a confirmation mail through Gmail. But you have to do it manually because both of these applications do not have a direct connection between them. But what if I tell you we can actually automate this whole process with the help of Pabli Connect. We will today create an integration where our trigger will be an order created in our order forms and our action will be sending an email, a confirmation email to that person through our Gmail. Let us learn how to do it. So let us learn that how can you send a confirmation email to your customer whenever an order is created in your order forms. As you can see, this is my order forms page and here I have created certain orders and I want that for any specific order, whenever a customer is placing an order for any product, that person will get a confirmation email by filling this form and here the person will fill the email, whatever the person's email address is. And then he or she will get a confirmation mail that yes, you have successfully placed an order for this product. So we will be doing this with the help of Pabli Connect, an automation software. You can see this is the landing page of Pabli and on the right hand side, you have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have an existing account, you have to click on sign up for free. But because I'm having one, so I will click on sign in, which will take me to the login page of Pabli, where I will just click on sign in with Google and I will reach this window where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. Because we are going to connect two applications today, Gmail and our order forms, we will be using Pabli Connect for that purpose. Click on access now and I will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here, you will see a big blue button on the right side where it is written create workflow. Click on that button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to give it as send an email when order is created in order forms. Click on create and then a blank workflow will appear in front of you. Here you will see two windows, one has trigger written over it and the other has action. Now what is this trigger and action? Trigger is when this happens, which means that an event will take place in your trigger application and that event will make sure that your action is performed, whatever action you're going to perform or assign to your action application. So let us choose our trigger application. Today our trigger application is going to be order forms because when an order will be created, that will be the trigger of this application, an order being created. The action application will be Gmail and a mail will be sent through it. So let us select our trigger application and then choose the trigger event. It has only one event that is order created. Now we will connect our Pabli Connect account to your order forms account. How are we going to do this? Click on connect and make sure that you've opened your order forms in a different tab. So it will be easier for Pabli Connect to establish a connection. Click on add new connection and then click on connect with order forms. It will automatically detect your account and the authorization will be done. See now this same button says connected. Now when you click on save and send test request, make sure that you go back to your order forms and then fill up this form and then create an order over here. Now you've already created a product. You have to make sure that you have some product for which you will fill this form and then the order will be created as soon as you click on buy now. So we'll go back to Pabli Connect, click on save and send test request and come here to fill a form. So the first name is Joy Kent. I have entered Joy's email also. Zip, you can enter any zip address over here and then select the country wherever you reside. Now click on buy now and see it will come as thank you for your purchase, which means that you have purchased or you have placed an order over here. This is a dummy order. So we were not paying anything, but you will be paying it when you fill a original order. Then you come back to Pabli Connect and see that yes, a response has been captured. So first of all, the status says succeed. Next is the name of the product. Then it is the price type, it's single, just one single. The price is this and in one time it says $25, that was the price. Now all the other details, the merchant details and the customer's name and everything, the email address is over here. So basically all the information has been captured by Pabli Connect from order forms. Now the next step is the last destination of our workflow that is going to be Gmail. So open your action window and choose the application as 
Gmail because Gmail is the application we are going to use to send a mail. The event is going to be send email like the our trigger event was to create an order and our action event is send mail which means as soon as an order is created a mail will be sent over here. Now again click on connect. Now there is no separate need for your Gmail to be open over here because you are not going to use your Gmail. You are going to send through Gmail. Okay and because you are working in a Google account it will be easier for Pabli Connect to connect with your Gmail also. Just select your account and give access by clicking on allow. And see the authorization is successful. Now the same button again says connected over here. Now you have to fill in some important fields over here which will make sure that your mail has the correct data or the correct content and then the correct email address as well. Now you will enter the recipient email address and it says required over here. So you scroll down and see there are two three fields where they have specified that this field is the most required field. Okay, like the email content, the subject and the recipient address. Without these fields, no mail could be sent. So our recipient address is going to be the address of the customer. So you have to do mapping for the same. Now what is mapping? Mapping is actually creating a pathway between both these steps. Like whatever information you have retrieved from your trigger application, you have to transfer it safely to the exact place. Your recipient email address cannot go in your sender name or email subject because that is the address where the mail will be sent. So make sure that you map it correctly. And how are we going to map it? Whenever you have to fill in a field, click on the blank field and it will ask you to insert data from the previous step. So for that, they will give you this drop down menu over here. It will include all the data from the responses that we just captured using Pabli Connect. So you click on this drop down menu and search for your email address. Scroll down and select your email address. Then we have the sender's name. So you can, so you can write the name of your company that is going to be the sender of this mail. For now, I am just ent entering clothing and this name can be static. We did not map this data. We just entered it manually because every time a mail will be sent, it will show that clothing company is the place from where you are receiving this mail. Okay, I am writing it as clothing company. Okay, this is the sender name. Now, email subject is order placed. You can also make it static only because every time an order will be created, the subject is going to be the same that is order placed. Type is going to be plain and email content is what you need to make sure that you write the specific data. So we are going to write here hello comma and then map the name of the person who placed the order. So scroll down and come over here where the person entered the name. This was the name. So hello and the name. So every time a new customer comes over here, that person's name will be placed here after hello. Then put a comma and then write See, this is what I have written. Hello, dear customer. Your order has been placed successfully. It will be delivered to your doorstep in coming to three days. Now, if you want to put an enter over here, you can just put the slash and N and then keep writing after that. Slash N will make sure that the next line you're going to type, the next sentence you're going to type will appear in the next line after this. Again, slash N. Regards. Okay, so this is the email content we are writing. If you want to attach a file or some attachment over here, so you can. But right now for this mail, this is just a confirmation mail of the order placed. So there is no need for this. And you just click on save and send test request. When you do that, you have to wait for some seconds for the response and see. First of all, it says done. The response type is this. The status also says sent. Okay, so you just click on save and now we will go to the email address that I used right now so that we can just confirm it right here only that yes, the mail has been sent successfully. See, this is my account and here you can see that I have received a mail from clothing company. Now, when I open it, I can see the subject was order placed. The sender name was clothing company. Now, hello, 
Joy Kent. Your order has been placed successfully. It will be delivered to your doorstep in coming to three days. Thank you for shopping with us and regards. So this is what you have received when you have placed an order. Right now, it took five minutes for us to do it. But then when you are going to, when any customer is going to place an order, it will be coming or appearing in your mailbox as soon as you click on buy now and do the payment. So this was our workflow. Let us do a quick recap of what we did. Our trigger was order forms. We created a product in our order forms account and then we filled a form which made sure that we purchased it completely. We paid the amount and then as soon as you clicked on buy now, a response was received over here. After receiving the response, we chose our action application as Gmail and then a mail was sent using the details that we entered over here. So this was the whole workflow. I hope this helped. Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to to our channel. Thank you.